Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're doing DaVinci Resolve 17 and it's gonna be kind of a audio editing for beginners type video. So let's go ahead and create a new project and we'll just call it audio create. Now we're gonna need some media. So we'll go to file, then we'll go to import media. Start with some music here from the YouTube audio library. Then now we need some video. Let's go to import media, go to videos, and we'll just grab this one here. Doesn't really matter which one. Okay, now DaVinci kind of throws you into the cut tab here, which I don't like at all. So we're gonna go to edit, straight to edit. That's the best place to be. And now what we're gonna do is drag the audio and the video into the timeline, and we'll start with our beginner's tutorial. Let's do video first. Okay. And next we'll go ahead and grab this music here and we'll drop it below into its own timeline here. All right, that's probably a little bit too long, so I'll go ahead and uh, bring it in a little bit. Probably about there, that's good enough. Okay, so right now it's kind of small here. So what I wanna do is modify it so it's a little bit easier for us to kind of see here. So what I'll do is I'll move this thing up a little bit here, make my video clip a little taller. And more importantly, my audio will be taller. So you can kind of see the wavelength here. Actually, video can be shorter. We don't need that big. Let's make some room for the old audio. All right, now I'm going to expand the clip out here. And right now, let's start with the basics. Okay, so increasing and decreasing the volume of the clip here is this line right here. You just click and hold with your mouse. And you can go up and down. And depending on the volume that you recorded it, whether your mic or your computer desktop, if you're using OBS or something like that, you know, you can kind of set your system audio to kind of a reasonable level and listen with headphones or speakers and kind of figure out what's a good level for you here. Okay. So you notice there's a little blip here. I'm sure that's a call for a keyboard click or something. And I kind of want to get rid of it. So what I'm going to do is expand this clip a little bit more to see what it looks like. And there's a couple ways to do it. If I wanted to get rid of all this video here, it's pretty straightforward. I'll just put my tape head here and then I get the blade tool and then I'll cut it right there. Then I'll switch back to the pointer. I'll click on here and I'll hit delete on my keyboard. If you hit back space on your keyboard, the space will still stay there. So let's control Z. I'll go ahead and hit delete on the keyboard after selecting it. And it'll kind of ripple move over to the left. Okay, that's the easiest straightforward way. Okay, next, say for example, in this part right here, there's a cough or a sound that I don't want on here and nothing changed in the video. So what I want to do is just cut that out. So I'll just do a blade mark before and after. I'll switch back to the arrow. I'll click on that and hit the delete key again. All right, so now for example here, if this is a cough, but we still need to keep the video up here. We're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna grab the blade tool, cut before and cut after, go back to the arrow. This time, since we wanna keep the video here, we'll just go ahead and grab that audio controller line here and just drag it all the way down so there's no sound whatsoever here. Okay, so you keep that integrity of the video here, but you don't have that cough or that mouse click or the keyboard slam or you know anything like that right there okay so that's kind of the basics controlling the volume going up going down putting cuts before and after something to maybe increase the volume to match the rest of the clip or maybe here you actually yelled or something or you talked too loud so i want to put another cut here and then I'll go back to my pointer and then maybe I need to get it just a little bit less to kind of match the volume here. Okay, so that's kind of the rudimentary easy way to do it. There's also one more thing you can do. If you grab your blade tool, let's do a cut here. Go back to our arrow. So now we're focusing on this clip right here. So say I want to just take this audio out altogether, but I want to keep the video here. So what you're going to do is right click here. You're going to unlink the clips by clicking on this check mark here. And now click somewhere else and then you can click on the audio itself only and then hit backspace on the keyboard. So what that did was you separated the audio and the video in this one little area 
and it allowed you to actually delete just the audio there. Let me go ahead and undo that. Let's regroup it. Just another way you can edit, but if I were to do this video and I wanted to do it simply, I would just bring the audio all the way down to zero. So it would basically do the same thing. But say, for example, you wanted to replace a piece of audio in here, you could do that as well. All right, so that's kind of the easy way to do it. Okay, now we're gonna level up just a little bit here, and we're gonna start editing the audio with something called keyframes. So what I want you to do is find a nice area of audio here. You're gonna hold the Alt button on your keyboard. You're gonna use your mouse, and you're gonna click on the line here. You're gonna put four dots, two before, and two toward the end. And then from here, you can actually grab that section and then bring that audio down only in that one specific area. Okay. So these are keyframes here and you can put as many as you really need. I mean, you can put a whole bunch here. Have it gone up, have it gone down. Let's say hypothetically speaking, this section here, we wanted to turn the volume down a little bit to that area. So let me spread the clip out just a little bit here. Let's find a good space. Yeah, let's find this spot right here. Let's say we wanted to turn that down just a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the Alt key again, put two dots before, two dots after, and these are called keyframes. Then I'm just gonna lower it till I get it into a more manageable level. And of course you're gonna be listening on your speakers or your headphones to get the actual level that you really want. Okay, let's have a, a look at this music here. It's probably really loud, the first thing I would do is just bring that audio down a little bit so it's more even with the actual talking. And there's a couple of cool things that are built into every clip in, in Resolve. And you look at the beginning and the end, there's kind of a little tool here that allows you to kind of fade in and fade out, okay? And you can see it puts a little shadow here to give you an idea of what's going on. So we can do that on any audio clip, yeah. If you need to go a little bit lower, a little bit higher, you can do that. If you want it to fade in just a tad bit, you can do that. Okay, so that's basically it for the audio editing. You can do your simple blade tool, cut, cut, turn up, turn down, or delete. Or you can use the Alt key on the keyboard to add a couple keyframes where you like. And you can have full customization of how the audio wave kind of sounds coming out of the speakers or the headphones. Okay, I think that's it for today's tutorial. As usual, I want to thank everybody for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, ring the bell, all that jazz. And we'll talk to you next time. Peace and aloha.